Mr. Lyon, I give the floor to Mrs. Marina Yanna Kudakis. Thank you. When I first worked on this directive, I stopped drinking fruit juice. I stopped trusting what was on the label. One wonders if labelling of fruit juice has any resemblance to what's in the product. That is why I'm glad the amendments to the fruit juice directive mean that clearer labelling will give consumers more accurate information, not only on the sugar content, but on the actual quantity of food in, fruit in these drinks. Without this directive, manufacturers will be able to label as drink as, orange, as uh, strawberry juice, for example, when in reality there is only a touch of strawberry, a lot of flavouring and an apple base. The public has a right to know what's in the juice, if it's pure, is nectar or made from concentrate, has added sugar, has no sugar, honey or sweeteners. We need to make it easy for customers to make a healthy choice. We need to ensure there's transparency in the market. I hope the fruit juice directive will result in a high qu quality of fruit juice as opposed to sugary drinks. Okay. Thank you very much, Mrs. Yana Kudakis. Uh, now I give the floor to Mr. Miroslav Mikolasic. Thank you. Thank you, President. The situation 